Consciousness, brother, to stay uh, uh, as pure consciousness, and prakriti is non-conscious. It is it has uh, the nature of inertia. But now, when two are connected. how the creation comes it is what we are going to learn so the next two karikas we we'll talk about the principal conjunction or principal association union of purusha and prakriti So how it is uh, real and how it is unreal. So we will talk about the uh, reasons. So real when we see the creation, unreal with the characteristics of prakriti and purusha, because it cannot be really. Uh, joined together, so they are separate. Sankhya has uh, another important uh, insight on this. Sankhya says one principle with uh, a special character. Uh, special character of its own cannot be changed into another or the original character of an object will not lose it 
in any condition. So it will remain in its character. Therefore, even though Prakriti manifests, the manifestations, uh, yeah, we can say Prakriti uh, has some manifestations. But in those manifestations, Prakriti doesn't change its character. Similarly, Purusha. So, the, all the products which we see in the creation, all those has its own characteristics, peculiar characteristics, special characteristics. It cannot be changed. If uh, that is the case, because this uh, theory is very well established in Sankhya philosophy as in Bhashya, and uh, we can say even Vedanta accepted science also it is there. Now, without changing its character, how Purusha become enjoyer or knower thinker and how Prakriti become conscious because knowledge is attributed to Prakriti and the knowership is attributed to Purusha. So this point, this important point is uh, described here. Tasma tatsam yoga da chetanam chetana vadiva linkam. Tasma tatsam yoga da chetanam chetana vadiva linkam. Guna Kartritve Chatatha Karteva Bhavatyuda Sinaha Guna Kartritve Chatatha Karteva Bhavatyuda Sinaha Guna Kartritve Chatatha Karteva Bhavatyuda Sinaha Tasma Tatsam Yoga Achetanam Chetanavadiva Linkam Tasma, therefore, it connects with the previous karika, which said the, about Purusha's characters. So, therefore, because Purusha is Chetana, Udasina, Sakshi, therefore, Tatsam Yoga, the conjunction of that conscious Purusha. Samyoga. So, Samyoga, the word uh, can be translated as union or uh, joining together, association or conjunction, or we can say uh, like uh, the crosser connection, which means. Both are very close. So then also it seems to be some yoga conjunctured. So the some yoga achetanam achetanam linka. This linka, the mahatattva or the great principle in this individual intellect. In cosmic level, great principle as Mahatattva, in individual, we call it intellect. So this intellect by its nature is non-conscious, insentient. Okay? So that insentient achetanam chedanavat ivalinkam. As if it is conscious. 
Chaitana what? It become conscious, seems to be conscious, acting to be conscious. So tasma tasam yoga achetanam chetanavat iva lingam. So linga we already know, uh, which is the indicator or the first uh, manifestation of prakriti, which indicates prakriti, therefore it is called linga. And now, guna kartritve cha tatha karteva bhavati tasina. Because of this uh, conjunction with uh, intellect, mahatattva, this purusha, the consciousness, become guna kartritve cha. So, become an agent of gunas. Or the manifestations of gunas are attributed to Purusha, the Gunakartritva. Actually, Purusha is not Gunakarta, is not connected to gunas. But because of this reason, because of this great uh, the principal conjunction, this is the first conjunction which produces Srishti, creation. So the, after this, the purusha become guna karta tatha karteva bhavati udasina. Although purusha is indifferent, udasina is not acting, not doing any activity as we saw in the last karika. But because of this connection, purusha become karta bhavati become karta. Intellect is acting and purusha is attributed to you. The action takes place in intellect but purusha become attributed to you. So it means uh, there is no action in purusha but we say I am doing it. The same thing vice versa also. We, we see intellect acting as conscious. Intellect has no conscious. But it gets consciousness, reflected consciousness from Purusha. So this happens after this conjunction. So Guna Kartratve, in the case of the agency of Gunas, uh, the Purusha become agent, agent as karta, duya, and this practically intellect also become, uh, becomes uh, conscious, both. So, tasma achetanam chetana vidva linkam punakartra chetata kartaiva bhavatitasi. It is similar to our Vedanta philosophy. Vedanta says, the pure consciousness, Sachitananda Brahma, is inactive, but after Maya, the Brahman becomes creator, Ishwar, and creator and destroyer and uh, Sarvajna and all those, omniscient, omnipotent and everything comes after connecting with Maya. So that is in cosmic level, and in individual level, uh, individual consciousness reflected in, uh, in that uh, antakarana, in the mind, that become jivatma, so jivatma becomes doya and enjoy the same thing. So tasma samyoga na chetanam chetanavadiva lingam. Now, uh, what is this conjunction? We have to understand. Because if you say two are joined, the two should be separate first. The prakriti is separate, purusha is separate. And how can we say both are separate? They are separate by their nature, not by their existence or presence. 
so their characters are different so they are said to be different but but their existence presence is all pervading so both the prakriti is also all pervading and purusha is also all pervading now when both are all pervading how this uh, union happens because union or conjunction we have different kinds of conjunction it is said in nyaya uh, darshana anyatara karma cha ubhaya karma cha samyoga cha swabhavika shakti nimitta yogyata lakshana and yadrichika vishaya vishayi there are so many kinds of contentions now if we examine one by one the anyatara karma cha so anyatara means we have two parts so only standing still another is coming and joining here so one side we have two parts so one part is connecting this the other part is still which has nothing to do with the conjunction so anyatara karma cha and ubhaya karma cha ubhaya karma means from both side so like we get the class the both side are correct so ubhaya karma cha so this is also conjunction and now here anyatara karma cha or ubhaya karma cha cannot come the conjunction caused by one part and the conjunction caused by two parts because whenever there is conjunction there are two parts here we cannot say because purusha is also all pervading and prakriti is also all pervading so it cannot move there is no movement so from one side it is coming the other side no we cannot say anything like that and then another kinds of conjunction that is not uh, relevant here samyoga cha samyoga cha means uh, like uh, when i touch here the so my hands are touching the earth this is a hand conjunction so this conjunction make my body connected to this only my hand is touched here but i can say my body is connected so this conjunction makes the another conjunction so this uh, samyoga cha samyoga conjunctions and then swabhavika and shakti nimitta and there are so many other and vishaya vishayi nimitta but here because these two uh, purusha and prakriti they have uh, their as a nature they have they are all pervading therefore we cannot bring together and their uh, their character is also uh, very subtle their nature is subtle it means the sukshmatva is not added it is by nature so then uh, there is one uh, i told you commentary on this it's called yukti deepika it's very good commentary on this uh, karikas so there it is said the purusha andakaranayoh abhinna deshatva sannidhi matra samyat bhaktam samyogam parikritya actually this uh, conjunction is not real he says don't uh, consider this conjunction as real it is what something is happening there you don't think that because it is not possible logically it is not possible then what what to say about this it he says abhinna deshatva sannidhi matra samya because both are there everywhere both are all pervading so abhinna deshatva they are in same place like where the prakriti is there purusha is also there the both are in same place 
the presence of both in same place is called conjunction actually there is no conjunction like if the mirror is there the sunlight is reflected so we can say sunlight is connected to the mirror but the truth is sunlight is everywhere mirror is there so it, it shows its character it, it reflects so sun uh, the mirror has a quality of reflecting so in the presence of sunlight mirror reflects so this process is called conjunction of reflection but there is no action no activity other than the presence of sunlight okay similarly here the chaitanya the consciousness is there and then the intellect is produced so the manifestation of intellect the so once intellect is manifested it has the reflective uh, quality so it reflects the consciousness as the mirror reflects the sunlight something like this so therefore when consciousness is inactive the relation is also attributed because if there is no action the real conjunction cannot happen you can imagine or attribute conjunction but there is no conjunction only the presence of both are there but then the, uh, the presence itself makes the this conjunction this is what he answers this is the only way we could find out how this can happen now the other point it, it is said that uh, consciousness is asanka consciousness will not relate to anything it has no relation then how can we say consciousness and prakriti or here the linga sharira and the uh, chaitanya is connected so a relation that makes no change a relation which makes no change from both sides can we say it is a relation what is the meaning of that relation if a relation cannot make any change that relation has no meaning it means the relation is not related that relation is not related it is said to be seems to be a relation but there is no relation same uh, example you have to follow this uh, mirror has a its own character mirror is totally different from sunlight its material cause is different so we can say sunlight and mirror is different okay and in the presence of sunlight mirror is reflecting so when reflection comes we see some relation because sunlight is reflected in that it means some relation some connection is there but really speaking mirror has no change in its material cause or in its action or it Uh, character it is still the same and sunlight also has no change because sunlight is present present everywhere the same as so now when reflection comes we see a change because reflection has more light 
or uh, what you say, more sharp light. in comparison with the normal light. So after reflection it changes. Now this uh, reflected light it seems to be different from the original light. It is, it is true. But, but there is no change in the two things, light and the mirror. They are the same. And reflection is separate from that. Similarly, uh, although the intellect and ego, mind, sense organs, everything works after this conjunction. It has uh, all this thinking uh, power and all those special you know, qualities. They are all formed. The intellect is very active, ego is very active as conscious, con uh, because of God's consciousness, it becomes conscious. But there is no relation, no relation with the, no real connection with the intellect and the consciousness. It's only reflected as in mirror. So, so therefore, in the presence of Purusha, in the presence of Purusha, intellect is acting as an object and this presence and the action is mutually attributed as said here. Con unconscious intellect become conscious attributed consciousness and inactive chaitanya become active attributed doer. So this is what is happening. Now you see if this conjunction is unreal as we could understand from this uh, discussion, this conjunction is unreal. From unreal conjunction, how real creation can come? This conjunction is the uh, root cause of creation. No, the, uh, this, this is the uh, first, you know, uh, what is this, immediate cause of creation. The material cause is prakriti. Uh, purusha, consciousness, we can say efficient cause, but Sankhya, uh, in Sankhya philosophy, they don't accept uh, uh, Purusha's an efficient cause, even. Okay, so in the presence of Purusha, the material cause as prakriti creates. So, but for the creation we need some relation or something should be connected. So that connection is called Prakriti Purusha Samyoga Achetana. Okay, so now uh, we will see we have so many sutras in Yoga Sutra which are discussing about this point. So that is Drik Drishya Shaktyo Rekatma Deva Asmita Yoga Sutra 2.6 There it says Drik Shakti and Drishya Shakti Drik Shakti is Purusha The seer that is called Drik Shakti The power of seer And Darshana Shakti Darshana Shakti is Prakriti the power of presentation that is Darshana Shakti. So, power of seer and power of presentation together called Asmita. What Asmita is? Aham, Ahamkara, Egoism. You see how beautifully the, uh, the Sutra says. So, Drit Shakti and Darshana Shakti. Uh, uh, they, when they um, connect together, 
associated together called asmita. Here the asmita is anga. Okay, that is there. Now, is it real? It says drashtra drishyo samyoga ha heya vedu. This so called conjunction is the cause for all the sufferings. Heya vedu. The cause of this samsara. So, drashtra drishyo samyoga ha heya vedu. 217. Now, then say, it says, Drashta Drishi Matraha Shuddho Bhi Pratyayanvashya. This here, consciousness is Drishi Matraha. It's pure consciousness. It has no action, no reaction, no change. Drishi Matraha. Pure consciousness. Or consciousness alone. Shuddha, completely pure. But Pratyaya Anupashya. But when the presentation comes, the presentation is there in the intellect. This drashta, this seer, become seer, like Sakshi. If there is no presentation, no see. No enjoying, nothing is there. No knowing, no seeing, no enjoying. So they are pratyayanvashya. So this is what makes the intellect. So the intellect is drashtra drishyayoho samyogaha and intellect has some modifications and some functions as the mirror. So then the reflection comes, then we see that mirror is reflected. The light is reflected. So not only in the mirror, when we see a painting, picture or whatever we see outside, it's all reflected. So this is Pratyayanubhashya. And what is the need of this conjunction? Why you say about this conjunction, there is no need for this. Then the Sutra says, you see, Swaswami Shaktyo Suruba Valabdhi Hetru Samyoga. We need this uh, conjunction, this Samyoga to know what is material cause and what is consciousness. Swa shak, swami shaktyo. Swa means prakriti, which is object, and swami is drashta, purusha, subject. To know the sarupa of both, know what is object or what is the characteristics of object, and what is the nature of consciousness? To know that we need this conjunction. If reflection is not there, you will not know what is consciousness is. If there is no intellect, how can you say you are conscious? This is what the science asks. They ask if there is no conscious, uh, there is no intellect. What about consciousness? We have no trace of consciousness. Therefore. If intellect is not there, consciousness is not experienced. So whatever you say as experiences, this is all connected to this conjunction. So without conjunction, there is no experience at all. And the purpose of prakriti that we will discuss next karika, the purpose of prakriti is to present all the enjoyments and this emancipation, what do you say, this kaivalya to the purusha to show its character. If intellect is not there, sattva uh, is not there, then purusha will not know the character of itself. You see, this is the trouble. Therefore, we need to connect this and accept this connection. Then it happens. And this connection we are not making. This connection will be always there. Why? Because both are all pervading and both are eternal. Who both? This Prakriti and Purusha. 
consciousness and material cause. Uh, this is the difference between Vedanta and science. They say both are eternal. Now both are not pervading. Now what would happen? Because you cannot change it. You cannot change it. It will be there always. So whatever sadhana you are practicing according to uh, Sankhya school, to just know this reality, that both are all-pervading and both has this conjunction and this conjunction is not real and therefore you don't mistake this conjunction. That's all. It's called discriminative knowledge. When there is conjunction, you are unable to know what is real in the state of ignorance. You are completely unaware. So we are uh, making our intellect, our mind and uh, we are training our intellect to discriminate or to uh, correctly uh, separate what is Prakriti and what is Purusha in spite of this context. That is, that is the main point. We are not disconnecting anything. We cannot disconnect. Only we know this connection. What is this connection? How it connected? Then we know this connect, connection cannot be real because construct, consciousness cannot be unconsciousness and unconscious, unconscious prakriti cannot be conscious. So, it, uh, prakriti or purusha cannot change its characters. Therefore, if at all this uh, conjunction is there, that is not real. So, this uh, clarity will come to your mind. Then you have the discriminative knowledge. That is liberation. But you are not changing this conjunction. This you will learn directly from Kāriga in like 167 or 66, the last Kāriga. It will say, uh, you don't think that you are separating it. When we learn uh, Sankhya at the beginning, but normally people think, after knowing we will separate it. There is no, we cannot do any separation. Here the Drashta and the Drishya also is like that. Then we contemplate uh, on seer and seen, separating seer and seen. Here also the same thing happens. You are not really separating seer and seen. You are only understanding seer and seen. The nature of seer, the nature of seen. So that is what uh, it says. <coughs> Now, Drashtra Drishya Ovaraktam Chittam Sarvartham. Yoga Sutra 4.23 says. So, this Chitta, which, uh, which is uh, colored with Drashtra and Drishya, it means this Chitta has both. Because it, is, it become one. Like the mirror is reflecting the light and it has its own character. As, um, as a mirror. Similarly, Drashtra Drishya Uparaktam, both uh, they are connected together as one. Then the Chittam become conscious and so active. Then it makes everything. Sarvartham. It can create self. It brings all the enjoyments and it brings Kaivalya also. Sarvartham. So, Drashtra Drishya Uparaktam Sarvartha. This uh, Uparakta, this coloring or uh, uh, what you say, the reflection, reflected uh, consciousness or uh, this, this is called uh, presentation, this is called Darshana. And uh, this reflection is self Darshana. When there is light, you see object. Therefore, this reflection is conjunction and this reflection is presentation and this, this reflection is all the enjoyments and time. Everything connected to this. The complete creation comes. 
Okay, so we, I think we understood something about this conjunction. It is a very important point for our uh, knowledge of Sankhya. So, uh, Samyoga Chetanam Chetanavat. By, uh, because I quoted this uh, Yoga Sutra to compare with, because both says the same thing in different words. And there is one Sankhya Sutra also. Uparaga Kartritum Chit Sanitya. Uparaga Kartritum Chit Sanitya. Because the intellect become Karta, Duya, because it gets the proximity or what Sanitya means, um, the present, uh, presence of presence of Chit. Chit Sanitya. It is not saying it, it is uh, it is combined together. It says the presence of chit, it gets the presence of chit, like the mirror gets the presence of light. So it reflects. Similarly, it reflects uparaga, the reflection happens, then the prakriti become kartri, the intellect buddhi become karta duya. So everything happens. Now if you compare with uh, Vedanta, is there any difference? There is no difference. In this, uh, in this philosophy, there is no difference. This point is both have the same. So they also say, Andhakarana Pradivimida Chaitanya. Here also it says, Buddhi, Sattva Buddhi, Pradivimida, and reflected them. And uh, uh, Ishara is all pervading, Chaitanya is all pervading, and uh, Maya is within Chaitanya, that is no different. Here Maya is different from Chaitanya, but both has the you know, processed uh, proximity. That Sanitya means that is we can say. The processed proximity of both, it takes the, all the creations and uh, creation comes out. So now the next Karika. Next Karika says, if, if some purpose is there, then only two opposite objects or opposite uh, entities can join together. Otherwise, if there is no relation without purpose, why you are uh, saying about all this conjunction here? So that purpose is mentioned in this karma. The purpose of conjunction. Purushasya darshanatham kaivalyatham tatha pradhanasya Purushasya darshanatham kaivalyatham tatha pradhanasya Purushasya darshanatham kaivalyatham tatha pradhanasya Pangvandhavadu bhayora vissam yogas tatkritasargaha First we see the word meaning. Purushasya darshanartham kaivalyartham tatha pradhanasya. For the sake of exhibition, for the Purusha, Darshanartha. Mm. This uh, Prakriti presents all the objects to Purusha. Where? In the intellect, in the Chitta. And for the sake of ultimate aloneness. So these two are called Purusharthas, Darshanam and Kaivalya. Darshanam is the enjoyment. Tatha Prathanasya and Prathana has this purpose. Or we can say when Prathana fulfills its duty as to present the objects and help the Purusha to enjoy the ultimate aloneness. 
then the purpose of prakriti is completed then prakriti takes leave of purusha so purusha is separated the prakriti is separated like that and when it happens when this discriminative knowledge comes as soon as the discriminative knowledge arrives the prakriti takes leave but now it is over now already not what is written so now there cannot be any conjunction and there is no purpose the purpose is completed so there is no creation this is the tricky way sankhya use how prakriti releases purusha and prakriti how prakriti leaves off purusha says its uh, its purpose complete now what is uh, what is the use of uh, connecting this so the connection is completed connection how it is completed because the intellect that uh, that uh, particular intellect that individual got the knowledge that prakriti is separate and purusha is separate that much so it is very clear to that particular individual so then for that individual there is no connection of prakriti therefore it is complete darshanartham that is called ultimate aloneness here in this uh, conjunction theory both are together the chetanavat and uh, after that ultimate aloneness so purusha is alone prakriti is also alone both has the uh, both both are different because they are both uh, are alone then how it happens so an analogy is applied here pankhu andhavat ubhayor api samyoga so this uh, conjunction is like pankhu and andha pankhu lame disabled by illag and andha is blind so prakriti is blind between prakriti has no consciousness it cannot know see and know and the lamb has no left so it cannot move it cannot uh, uh, do any action so that is consciousness and when consciousness and this prakriti together they can do action because the lamb and the blind man they they together works so they can move because uh, the blind man will walk and this uh, lamb can show the way so this story is very famous it is there in panchatantra this happened so they went uh, and reached their village and purpose completed so because they wanted to go back to their village so they joined together and uh, uh, did some contract that we will reach there like that so they did that and once they reached there they separated so they went their own home that's all so this is uh, this is the example mm. uh, but uh, this analogy is questionable it has uh, so many problems and <laughs> in sankara bhashya uh this question because this analogy doesn't work well with this uh, concept of sankhya so anyway uh, the idea is that uh, both are uh, together for a purpose and when the purpose is completed they are separated samyogah tatkritah sargah uh, by this from this the creation happens the evolution happens the so originated by this tatkritah uh, uh, from uh, uh, that that means there this is uh, here the conjunction so from this conjunction this connection the creation happens now uh, this conjunction <coughs> creation <coughs> both seems to be unreal because this is temporary the conjunction is also temporary and it is uh, already uh, mentioned that 
Purusha cannot change its character and uh, this Prakriti also cannot change its character. So, without changing their own characters, original characters, they make productions. It means creation. So, it cannot be real. Therefore, until this uh, conjunction is uh, accepted or until uh, this individual has no discriminative knowledge, this creation appears. So, when it has a discriminative knowledge, it disappears. Disappears means there is no creation to be like that. In this, uh, uh, there is an, another observation. They say, because Sankhyas, they don't say this creation is mitya, superimposed, as Vedanta says. They say the creation is real. Because Prakriti is real, Trigunas are real, the manifestation is also And how it is real? After this conjunction, the conjunction is unreal and then the creation is real. How can it be? So we argue if the immediate cause of creation is unreal, the conjunction itself is unreal, how come this conjunction can make real creation? So the creation ought to be unreal. It is not real. Because unreal conjunction cannot make a real uh, creation. This is very simple. So in, if they accept this, then they are same with the Vedanta philosophy. Only this much the small differences are there in these points. And then what they answer? What I remember is, they say, you see, we have suffering, misery. From the point of view of Prathana, Prakriti, the misery is real. So, how cleverly they define it. From the point of view of Prathana, the misery is real. Because uh, Prakriti is real and the Trigunas are real. But from the point of view of Purusha, the misery is unreal. <laughs> so, this is like that. So, <laughs> if the, without conjunction, we, have, we can understand. This is what uh, the answer. In some commentary, this answer is given like this. So, from the point of view of Prakriti, uh, because you are connecting Prakriti when you are in ignorance. It means you have no discriminative knowledge. You are not separating because here ignorance means non discriminative state. It is called it ignorance. It is not like Atma, Atma, Anatma, Viveka, and all those are not there. So, because Prakriti and Purusha is not separated, that's all. You don't know what is Prakriti and Purusha. So, from the point of view of Prakriti, whatever you see is real because it has a creation and it is. Uh, uh, it has a you know, development of manifestation and then after that gradually into dissolution. It is destroyed itself. Therefore, it is real. From the point of view of Purusha, Purusha is alone. Purusha has only one character that is consciousness. Therefore, Purusha has no creation from that point of view. For sunlight, there is no object. If object is there, sunlight is reflected. That is a different story. But uh, sunlight is not creating anything, or sunlight is not destroying anything, or sunlight is not uh, manifest, uh, making um, uh, objects. Nothing, nothing. No, no action in sunlight. Sunlight is Udasina, indifferent from all what is happening. So from that point of view, 
there is no manifestation, nothing. But when you see the objects, when you see the object, the objects have some manifestation. If you see the tree, after sunlight, it gets sunlight, it makes energy and all those. So in the tree there is manifestation, but not in the sunlight. So this way they answer somehow it is not very uh, acceptable or uh, no, it is not very clear, but they answer something like this. And without this uh, creation or uh, talking about this creation and cause and effect theory, nothing can be established. No philosophy can be established. We have to follow the creation and the theory of creation. Otherwise, no philosophy works. Therefore, they uh, give one example. Pangvam Thavadat Bhayo Rabi Samyogaha both has the function. Conjunction and Tatkrataha Sargaha. Ha, now, <coughs> here is one point, uh, one more point that is Kaivalyartam Darshanartam. It said both. Purusha has no bondage. From the point of view of Purusha, there is no bondage. Considering that, we cannot say Purusha is uh, Purusha is released or liberated because Purusha has no bandhana bondage. If uh, Purusha has no bandhana, then how can Prakriti release Purusha? So how can Kaivalya come? So in this, uh, there is an interesting answer. Vijnana Bhikshu, who wrote Bhashya on Sankhya Sutras, his name is Vijnana Bhikshu, Sankhya Pravachana Bhashya. We, we learned that Bhashya. I translated all this Bhashya into, uh, it is uh, last chapter we, we have to do it. It is there. Very interesting because he gives uh, many answers no, currently in this sense. He says, for Purusha there is no bondage, no liberation, nothing. But as we said here, from the point of view of Pradhana, we have suffering and we have enjoyment, all this. And when Pradhana stops, Giving enjoyment, it means Pradhana is itself released. Pradhana itself is released, returned. Then that stage is called liberation for Purusha. Actually, Purusha was liberated, but Pradhana was connecting with that. We are seeing the Purusha through Pradhana. We are, uh, we are experiencing our own consciousness through intellect. We are identifying ourselves through intellect. Therefore, we have bondage. Because when you see through intellect, intellect can make all this bondage. So whatever misery, whatever problems we have because of intellect and ego and this only. Therefore, from this point of view, from Pradhana's point of view, we say Purusha is released. It's not from Purusha's point of view. So this way he answered. It is, it is correct also. Because we cannot say uh, other than this. Even in Vedanta it is correct. Because when Prakriti, uh, when uh, Maya is there or Prakriti is there, mind is there, or mind has all these activities, Adhyasam and superimposition, all those are there. Then we are experiencing the bondage. All the bondage is unreal, but we are experiencing as if it is real. Therefore, when we get the knowledge of Brahman or get the get this discriminative knowledge, so this this part is released, which uh, connects Prakriti and so now we are not seeing through intellect, 
we separated intellect and we are seeing purusha as separate so when we see purusha separate purusha is released so when we see purusha reflected in the intellect then it is bonded because intellect has all these functions uh, sattva rajas tamas guna functions so this way it can be answered this way kaivalyam is also there this is all uh, very interesting how they uh, established their philosophy then after that uh, uh, they how they you know stand by it and then try to prove it right so this way they answer all this and in all other sanskrit commentaries they have given different opinions so out of uh, all these commentaries like we have jayamangala one commentary uh, named after shankaracharya is also there but uh, i like two commentaries one is this yukti deepika yukti deepika commentary and then sankhya pravachana bhashya vidyana bhashya because vidyana bhishu has wrote uh, commentary on brahma sutra as well brahma sutra also he has wrote one commentary uh, huh? yoga sutra also vaishali is there viva vartika is there yoga vartika yoga vartika vidyana bhishu and uh, here uh, in sankhya pravachana bhashya and he wrote one commentary on brahma sutra and he tried to prove brahma sutra as sankhya shastra it means he tried to prove uh, he brought all the sankhya philosophy uh, in brahma sutra it is very interesting i have that book uh, but uh, <laughs> so we have to see how i how he is trying to prove because he is after shankaracharya so so he is taking shankaracharya's philosophy and logic and adding all this and he is answering very well in but no with the sankhya philosophy there are so many interesting points so this way it can be answered because some logic should be uh, there you now when we answer such questions so he is giving all this logic om purnamatah purnamidam purnat purnamudasyate purnasya purnamadaya ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ